Hello everyone, we've made very significant updates to our Blue Sky Monitoring clinical dashboard for remote patient monitoring for liner treatment. One of the significant improvements is a new simplified and streamlined way of passing the relevant STL files and data into the Blue Sky Monitoring remote patient monitoring platform. Since there's so much innovation going on in terms of Blue Sky Monitoring and connected and relevant products, let's just take two minutes to organize and describe a bit of what is going on. Okay, so if you're not yet familiar with Blue Sky Monitoring, Blue Sky Bio's telemonitoring platform for remote patient aligner treatment, just visit blueskymonitoring.com and click on any of the links below to learn more about the platform. It will open up information on the Blue Sky Bio University site and you could scroll down, learn about the advantages of the system, how it will help you and your patients, information regarding pricing, including the fact that we offer five free patients to every new dentist, and each additional patient is a one-time fee of $29 per patient with no monthly fee. In addition, you could print the scopes in-house. We have the STL files available here. You could download and you could print the scopes in-house. You could also order the scopes from Blue Sky Bio starting at just $13 per scope, depending on the number of scopes that you're ordering. The idea is very simple. The patient downloads a free app, they connect their cell phone to the scope, and they get reminders and they're prompted to perform the relevant scans at the relevant schedule according to the time frames and frequency that you define. You, the dentist, receive the scans and on one side of the screen, you'll be able to see the data, the video, the photo that just came in from the patient. And on the other side of the screen, right next to it, you'll see a 3D viewer containing the STL files for that particular aligner stage reflecting the digital plan. So on one side of the screen, you get the real-time photos and videos from the patient. The other side of the screen, you have how the teeth are supposed to be set up for that particular step of the liner treatment. And you can see more information about the side-by-side -side comparison and other features, functionalities, and process flows on the blueskybio.university forward slash monitoring website, as I mentioned earlier. Now, the new functionality that I'm going to be demonstrating in this video is essentially to take the completed digital tooth setup with the relevant steps and transfer them automatically from Blue Sky Plan to Blue Sky Monitoring so that you'll be seeing in Blue Sky Monitoring the side-by-side -side comparison, as I just mentioned, with the videos and photos from the patient and the data from the digital plan. We see on the screen the completed digital plan. This plan contains the actual segmented CT teeth with the root data. Blue Sky Plan automatically segments the teeth the bones and automatically aligns the data from the CT scan to the data from the optical scan. So you could plan with complete anatomical information and true anatomical movements directly affecting the efficiency of the liners and reducing those mid course refining cases. So while the CT scan is not a requirement for the liner planning in Blue Sky Plan, it is definitely highly recommended to scan the patient optically and with the CT scan load both into the software and we have tutorials on the process flow and how to do that and plan the liner planning based on the full anatomical data. Now, if you're not manufacturing the liners in-house or you want help with the planning and or the manufacturing, but you still want to leverage the benefit of the root-based aligner treatment for the true anatomical mechanics, then you could do so. Just visit our site prontoaligners.com forward slash dentist to get to the clinical information about Pronto Aligners. And if you would like to present information to your patients about Pronto Aligners, just go to prontoaligners.com. And here we have patient-focused information as well as relevant video about the benefits of true anatomical aligners. Okay, so now that we've explained a bit about Blue Sky Monitoring and what we're viewing now in the Blue Sky Plan software, let's discuss and present the new functionality to transfer the data from Blue Sky Plan to Blue Sky Monitoring. Okay, so now that I have the digital design plan completed on screen, I'm going to go down to the bottom of the panel, choose the option to continue to export. We have the options to design printable aligners, and Blue Sky Plan has FDA approval to do so. And we have the ability to design the liner trim curve to use a mill in order to trim the liners. We're not going to get into that functionality now. We do have relevant videos describing that functionality. At this point, I'm going to select export models only and click continue to export. So now we're at the export phase where we could export the models for liner manufacturing. We have a dialog box that comes up automatically asking if you would like to order the liners for this case. 
So if you would like to have the liners manufactured for you, you could simply click yes. You'll have a form that comes up directly on screen. The relevant files will be automatically attached and sent with your order to manufacture the Pronto liners as mentioned earlier. At this point, I'm gonna click no, and I'm going to scroll down to the bottom of the panel where we have the export options. Just as a word, we have the options to label the models. You can emboss, you can engrave whatever text you want. We have the ability to add a platform for vertical printing and even to separate the platform so you just have the heels. Then now we're gonna focus on the export options. So we have export models is checked in the box and our new functionality here, activate remote monitoring for this patient. So as we're going to see, the checkbox for export both draws is checked automatically when we check the checkbox for activate remote monitoring patient for this patient. And when we click export, it's going to export the models for both draws and it's going to open the form to activate remote monitoring. We also have additional checkboxes to create the aligner report and the ability to transfer the data directly to the software for your 3D printer. I happen to have Rayware installed on my computer, so it's giving me that checkbox. If I had a different software, it would present the checkbox for the other software. By the way, I'm just gonna mention, this functionality is available in version 4.13.31 of Blue Sky Plan. If you're using an older version, then you should definitely upgrade to the latest version. Blue Sky Bio user group is where we always post the newest builds, latest information, and updates regarding discounts. It's a very active group where people post and respond to very interesting topics. Of course, we have information regarding our free offers, and comments and feedback from different users. So if you're looking for our newest Blue Sky Plan build, join our Blue Sky Bio user group on Facebook. Okay, so now I'm going to click the export button. The software confirms that we've completed adding any platforms for vertical printing or adding any patient identifier to the models. I'm gonna click yes, proceed to export. I'll click desktop, create a new folder, and the models are going to be exported to this new folder, and I'm going to click OK. The software is now running the export process to export the models to the folder. After the export has been completed to the computer, the form comes up to set up the patient in Blue Sky Monitoring. Simply complete the patient information. The patient will be receiving prompts via email and text messages when to do the scans, please make sure to enter the accurate patient information. Once you've entered the patient's information, go ahead and click on Next. The data on the next screen in order to set up the treatment has been pre-populated automatically, although you can review and modify as needed. So we have the treatment name, which is our text field regarding the patient. It takes the first name of the patient, adds a liner treatment to it for orthodontics liners. The start date for which it's going to be creating the schedule is today's date, but you could go ahead and change that. If you know it's gonna be starting in a week or whenever, you could also change it at a later point, so don't worry about it. You can enter any description information regarding the treatment. What well, the checkbox that we have here is for an immediate trial, patient education scan and fit rating. What this does is it's going to send an immediate prompt to the patient to do the first scan. Even if the first scan should really be at the end of a liner one, for example, in two weeks time, it's still gonna send an immediate prompt to the patient for a essentially demo educational scan so that you could perform the scan with the patient in your clinic so the patient could be familiar with the scanning process. So in order to trigger the immediate scan request, check the checkbox here. Need approval for a liner change? will activate a process where the patient won't be told to change their liners until you review the scans that come in and you approve the liner change. Once you provide your approval, the patient will receive the notifications to change their liner to the next aligner. So if you'd like to activate that, then go ahead and click on the checkbox here. We have the number of aligner sets, which is pre-populated based on the Blue Sky Plan information, and we have the liner change frequency, which again is pre-populated. On the bottom here, we have the relevant data files. Now, since we've transferred the data directly from Blue Sky Plan, there's nothing that has to be done at this point. Just click on Next. Now we're setting up the schedule for the patient scans and what type of scans they will be. So once again, we've pre-populated the screen with recommended default settings. You could go ahead and review and change them as you like. What we have here first is how often and when the patient should be receiving prompts to perform the scan. 
So we have a field which is number of Ds, which is a number value. We have option before a liner change or after a liner change, and how often, how many aligners is it every aligner change or every second aligner change, etc. So the option that we have by default is zero days before the liner change, which means on the day that the liners are being changed, they should be performing a scan. And it's every second aligner change, which means that it's not every time the patient changes their aligners or every time the patient is supposed to change their aligners, but it's every second time. So we're not gonna be prompting them for a scan every time they're supposed to be changing their aligners. We're gonna be prompting them for a scan every second time they're supposed to be changing their aligners. So this is regarding the win and the frequency. Next, we have what type of scan are they going to be prompted to perform? Now again, in their app on their cell phone, it's gonna tell them exactly what to do. It's gonna tell them exactly when to put the scope in their mouth, how to move the scope, in what direction. They're gonna be prompted on screen, step by step, at every step of the process. So what we have here is that for each time they're gonna be performing a scan, they're gonna be doing two video scans. A video horizontal scan with the mouth closed, with their current aligner, and they're gonna be then prompted to do a second video scan, once again horizontal, once again with their mouth closed, but with their next aligner. So they're gonna be prompted to take their current aligner out, put the next aligner in, and then perform another scan. Once they finish the scans, they press the submit button, and it gets transferred automatically to the Blue Sky Monitoring Clinical Dashboard. When you log in, you'll be able to see the new scans, the new information, etc., etc. Once you've confirmed the three steps, simply click on finish. We have the option here to skip and create treatment. So if you don't want to create a schedule, but essentially you just want to go in and press a button every time you want to scan, you could go ahead and do so. But we highly recommend, as we're going to see, this is going to set up a schedule for the patient and the patient's going to receive the proper prompts according to the schedule. Okay, so now I've clicked finish and the software is now uploading the relevant STL files directly from Blue Sky Plan to the Blue Sky Monitoring Platform. You can see the indication on top of the screen that the relevant files are being uploaded. You should leave the screen open. Don't click close. You could open another iteration of Blue Sky Plan or you could work on something else or you could go see a patient. Uh, but keep the window open until you receive the notification that all the data has been uploaded successfully. Okay, we can now see that our patient has been added here successfully. When you have multiple patients, then you'll have a list of your different available patients here. And when you click on the relevant one, it will show you the timeline and the schedule for this patient. So we could see here week by week, the relevant information, the relevant milestones, what the patient is gonna be doing each week, including changing their liners, including providing the relevant scans. We could see that the frame around this patient is green because everything is okay with this patient. If there's overdue tasks for the patient, you'll have a red frame. If it's pending your review, you'll have a blue frame. And once a scan comes in, you'll have a button here to view the scan request. It will open again with the side-by-side -side comparison between the video that came in from the patient and the 3D digital tooth setups for that relevant aligner stage. We can also see that we have the scan request that was created for today, an immediate scan request. So that could be used as the patient education scan. You can go through the scan process with the patient directly in your office, attaching the cell phone to the scope, opening the app, and of course the patient is receiving the relevant notifications and prompts via email and via text messaging telling the patient exactly what to be doing with relevant reminders at each stage of the process. All the settings and all the data on the screen can be modified if needed. For example, if the start date where the patient is getting their aligners only happens a week later, you click the pencil, edit the relevant information, and everything will update accordingly. As I mentioned, you can see the indication here regarding the free patients that every dentist gets, every user gets when they start using Blue Sky Monitoring. They get their first five patients free. We can see the indication here, and we can also see the indication on the patient listing as well. In addition, all patients 
for which you order Pronto aligners for aligner manufacturing. When the patient data is imported into Blue Sky Monitoring, that patient will also automatically be free. So you can have an endless amount of Blue Sky Monitoring free patients. Every, every time you order those Pronto aligners, when you import the patient into Blue Sky Monitoring, the Blue Sky Monitoring functionality will be completely free.